Hey everyone, it's Terry at Lithos and Lasers, and although I've been using the big new laser, uh, I still use the Glowforge, and uh, the Glowforge is currently dirty. So I'm going to make a video about how to clean this thing. So first off, you don't have to clean this. Like, you can if you like things to look shiny and new, but having a dirty laser tube doesn't affect anything other than cosmetics. Um, so first, although I'm going to cover everything, I think, uh, first I want to cover the really easy stuff that you should be doing all the time. So what you should be cleaning daily if you use your Glowforge a lot, you clean this right here. This is your lid camera that shows you the picture that you see in the Glowforge UI. Uh, if it is dirty, your, your interface will start looking kind of cloudy. Also, during homing, that camera looks at this logo. And if it can't see this logo because that is dirty or that is dirty, uh, it will come out here, it will start trying to focus, it will start moving and coming over and moving and coming over and eventually it will come over here and go and make sound because it could never find that head. So if you ever get stuck homing and stuff, clean that, clean that. So. Uh, your normal routine is you're going to make sure this is clean. You're going to make sure this is clean. There's one right over here, uh, right up there. You're going to make sure that one is clean. You're going to pop your laser head off. Uh, best to, to help with your cable, you should remove the snaps on this guy too. All right. So now. You're going to clean these two little side windows and you're going to use your tool, this tool, to take this out and clean both sides. Also, make sure your contacts are clean. We are going to, and this isn't, this isn't often, but you see how nasty that is? Uh, that is usually the number one cause of cooling down. I used to get cooling down all the time that ended when I started cleaning that thing like once every month or two. Uh, the other thing a lot of people don't know exists is your mirror right here. We're gonna clean this. It's pretty clean, but well, I'm gonna clean it some more. When you put it back, it must go just like that. That orientation. A lot of people will post in the forum that they put it back in like this or something and it melted. Uh, Took it out like that, you put it back like that. You cap it. Alright, so I'm gonna go through real quick and clean all of these lenses. Uh, and then we're going to use an Allen wrench. We're gonna take our carriage plate off so that we can clean the air assist back here really well. I don't know if it's showing, there it is. We're gonna clean that guy. Um, and to do that, it's really best to take it off, take the metal shroud off and clean it good. Uh, I've seen videos saying just use CRC cleaner and spray it on it and you're good. Um, five minutes later, it's all gummy. So I totally do not recommend that. Uh, also, a lot of people will say just, uh, just grab this belt down here and pry it off of that wheel. Uh, if you want a broke wheel, yeah. Um, Glowforge wheels are known for being pretty pretty prone to breakage, so why would you want to risk it, right? So, let me see. Uh, give me one second. I'm going to clean all these lenses, and then I'll come back. Usually, you're going to use a Zeiss wipe, like the one, the one that they gave you with your Glowforge. Um, I'm out, so I'm using a similar thing, these electronic wipe. Clean those. These two cameras are used for the infrared beam and to illuminate when your system is doing its auto measure to measure the distance or the thickness of your material. Right there. I'm gonna 
clean those guys just in case. Use, uh, especially for this part, maybe clean this part first or make sure that your rag, your cloth is really clean. If there's any particles on here, you might want to hit it with a can of air first so you don't grind those dust particles in. That's more uh, a thing about the front and not so much on the back. Right. Turn this inside out. This really, I do this, man, I do this every, uh, multiple times a day, I'd say. If I'm using the Glowforge a lot, uh, probably two or three times a day, I clean these lenses. So, when you go to put the, when you go to put this back in, there is an arrow on the side. That arrow faces into the hole. Drop it down. Push it in with your tool. A lot of people will say, especially new users will say, oh my gosh, my uh, my lens isn't staying up at the top where it's supposed to be. Well, it's not supposed to. Uh, that's how it focuses. So that lens will ride up and down in that tube uh, as the Glowforge focuses. So last one here. Uh, I lost my little rag, but I'm going to use a fresh one anyway because you do not want to screw up this optic. And then for the sake of the video, I'm going to put those things back on right now. So we have... Uh, the how to clean the simple things video, and then we'll go on to the more detailed stuff. So, back in, just for good measure. Let's make sure the top of this thing is clean. I know you're screaming at me, I did not forget that we have one more. Let's see if we can get in there with the camera though. put it back together all right at this point you have done your general daily easy maintenance clean your lid camera clean your side window clean your mirror clean your lens and then we clean the two little lenses on the bottom and we clean that lens over there so you're gonna do that often when you start noticing that a setting that you normally works, let's say that you cut this stuff at 150 full, works all the time, now it's starting to not cut through all the way or something, uh, or you're starting to see a lot more uh, flame off of your laser head, um, that's a good indication that it's time to clean the air assist. So I'm gonna go do that next.